The Toronto International Film Festival is returning to full in-person programming this year with 11 days of red carpets and screenings. Festival organizers have announced the lineup of Canadian films that will be premiering. And the CBC's Lisa Shang was listening in and she joins us now in Toronto. Lisa, I'm pretty excited. What are we expecting at TIFF this year? Yeah, absolutely, Arthi. It is a lot of excitement this year because it's the first time since the pandemic started that it's fully back in person. That means red carpets, uh, press conferences, you know, everyone is going to be here. And so uh, at the announcement this morning, a lot of buzz. You could really feel that energy, a lot of anticipation for, uh, for being back in person and back together. And organizers told me that really there's nothing quite like having an audience in a theater Theater, watching a film, talking about it after as well. So uh, CEO Cameron Bailey also said today that uh, there are values uh, that the, fil the film festival is trying to embody this year. Uh, here's what he had to say about that. What you're going to see later uh, this morning in terms of the films we have invited to, uh, to participate in the festival is a, another generational shift, a continued evolution that better reflects who we are as a people, and I could not be prouder to be a part of that. So to that point, uh, there is a pretty impressive uh, roster in that lineup, including Canadian films, Arthi. So what kinds of Canadian films are being featured then this year? Absolutely. And we have some big names uh, to kick it off. You know, a film by Inuk Throat singer Tanya Tagak uh, that really explores her performances and the relationship of those performances with the land she grew up on in Nunavut. Uh, we also have an Indigenous romance by Anishinaabe filmmaker Darlene Ponce about star-crossed lovers who meet at a bar in northern Ontario. As well, a biopic about Buffy St. Marie called Carry It On about the legendary Cree artist and activist. Uh, and already we know that Canadian director Mary Heron's film Dolly Land uh, about the surrealist painter featuring Ben Kingsley is going to be closing the festival on the 17th of September. And now those are the big ones, but also uh, today organizers made a big point to feature new and emerging filmmakers highlighting that Canadian content that's up and coming. And one of the filmmakers I spoke with is Viti Nayani. She's from Toronto and told me she spent almost a decade working on this first feature called This Place. Yes, it's about Toronto and it's a queer love story between a Tamil woman and an Iranian woman. Here's what she had to say about that. It's incredible. You know, this film is actually about this place. So to have it premiere in this place is like a dream come true. We've been working on this film for about nine years now. And it's just so heartwarming. And honestly, I've been crying all week to just have us share this film at home with our communities here and for the world to see it here. So one of the other films as well um, is Black Ice, which talks about, you know, racism within the hockey community. A uh, Canadian producer, Vinay Vermani, uh, is a, a lead on that one. And of course, some big names behind that, execing, exec producing Drake as well. So a pretty impressive uh, roster of Canadian talent uh, behind the films this year. And organizers say they're really, really excited to get started for this first time back in person in several years. Uh, there will be red carpets, there will be all those press conferences, so a lot of hype uh, in just a few weeks to come. Can't wait. Thanks for this, Lisa. That is the CBC's Lisa Shing in Toronto. Now, let's stay on this story. We are thrilled to bring in Canadian filmmaker Mary Heron. Lisa was mentioning her in her talk back there. Her movie, Dolly Land, will have its world premiere as this year's TIFF, and it will be on the closing night. Mary, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, how excited are you to have this in-person TIFF premiere? Oh, I, I'm really thrilled to be back at TIFF and also to be back in Toronto, um, where my hometown originally, and where I have so many family. I haven't been back for almost three years uh, since before the pandemic because uh, of lockdown and then because I was making the film um, in the UK. And so finally to, to come back and have a, sc a screening at Roy Thompson Hall, but also at the uh, Princess of Wales Theatre. So two big venues where you, 
you so rarely get to see your film on a big screen now or with a big audience and there is nothing better. I, I feel like this film in particular benefits from an audience. So I, I'm so, I, I haven't, I will, it'll be the first time that I have seen it with a big audience and that is a completely different experience. Yeah, I'm so. just thrilled for you as well. So why is it important? And I was talking to our Chase producer as well who say it is important to see Dolly Land in the theater. So just break that down a little bit for me. Well, there's a lot of comedy in the film. I mean, it's sort of tragic comedy. It's about the last years of Salvador Dali with um, Ben Kingsley playing Dali and the great German actress Barbara Sokova playing his wife. So there's um, a lot of sparring between them and, uh, and quite a lot of comedy. And, and so, you know, when there's comedy, you really want an audience. You want to share the experience, you know. So I, I feel like it will play really well with an audience. Okay, I have to ask you what it was like, and we can see his photo there, working with Sir Ben Kingsley. Oh, he is a, an amazing actor. I mean, he's so incredibly focused, you know, almost in like a religious way. He comes on with complete, like when he steps on set, he is Salvador Dali, you know. You know, he, he doesn't break in a way his concentration so complete and he really comes with such a complete performance I really gave very few notes and it was I think we all and he was very kind to the other actors you know there's a lot of also young up-and-coming actors like Chris Briney um, it was his very first film straight out of drama school and he's the young male lead and he, Sir Ben was so kind and um, and thoughtful with the other actors it was good to see it's so exciting. Uh, so can you just give us, like, why people want to go see this film, like, about Salvador Dali? Well, I think people know his art. They mm -hmm. know certain iconic images. But he had this crazy marriage um, over, you know, uh, you know, 50 years, basically, that was very... Um, or 40, 40 years, whatever. That was very uh, combative, but also extremely bound, tempestuous. Uh, and she was a huge um, impact, uh, had a huge impact on his art. But they also, there was a great love, but they didn't have sex, basically, or almost never. So it's <laughs> this very strange, uh, and she had all these affairs with other people. So it's a very, very strange um, and sort of legendary marriage. He devoted a lot of his art to her. Um, it's such a, it's a crazy story, but a, a really good one. I think people... I'm always interested in the the private lives of the artist yes. and the difference between yes. their their creative life, which is one world, which we show, and the, and what happens behind the scenes. Especially with Dali, you know, I made a, my first film, which I believe will be shown here at the Cinematheque during the festival. I shot Andy Warhol, was also about you know the behind the scenes life of an artist. So they're kind of bookending, um, and. Dali, like Warhol, had a very fixed persona. You know, he had the mustache, he had the, the, the you know, very theatrical presentation. And then there's what really happened, what the real person is like. And so I hope we'll be interested. Yeah, I love watching these type of films too, because do you find that their personal life also, you know, clearly bleeds into their artistic life? And that is, you know, you can see that through their art as well. <laughs> Yes, I, th I think you can, you can see, I mean, obviously, you know, also with Dali, you know, um, his obsession with Gala and his wife certainly fed into his art. Um, and his, you know, his, uh, his, his dream life, his, his obsessions with sex. But we, we really, we, we're focusing more on the beginning and end of this legendary marriage, I think. Okay. But obviously... That was, you know, it's it's a it's a kind of personal story of the, you know, an artist, artist life. But obviously, without Dala, would there be a Dali? You know, it, what we do do show is how crucial Gala was to his artistic process. And there's a great scene with Barbara Sokova gets let's rip where she's furious with him for not painting and and you just see and he says you know without her you know i would be a, you know a, a tramp under a bridge you know that he needed her toughness to to keep it all together so i think i think we show the very it's really about the dynamic that made his his art i know? love it i i can't wait to see this one but for you when you walk the red carpet uh how exciting is that for you? Who do you look forward to seeing at TIFF and maybe another movie you might look forward to seeing as well? Um, I want to see Sarah Pauly's new movie. 
Mm -hmm. uh, also Another Canadian, of course. Yeah, so I'm very excited to see that. Um, oh, God, I'm not sure, you know. All, no. You know, for me, getting to see any movie now in a theater is, is thrilling. So um, I know that there's... Um, uh, oh, sorry, Darren Aronofsky movies, I think is that one there? Anyway, there's, a, there's so many I want to see. And plus the ones... Um, some of the ones uh, that are coming in internationally as well. Yeah, what a pleasure to talk with you. And your film sounds fascinating. It's going to be fun to see in the theater as well. Appreciate your time, Mary Heron. Oh, thank you so much. You're and so yes, fun. and of course, I see my family. I'm excited to see my relatives. So. Absolutely. As you say, you haven't been here for three years, so I'm sure they're going to welcome you home with a big party. <laughs> well, as Canadians do. That's Canadians do. Absolutely. Yeah. Canadian filmmaker Mary Heron, her movie Dolly Land will have its world premiere this year at TIFF's closing night film. Thank you kindly.